everybody, and welcome back to another episode. How is everybody doing? Man, I'm doing amazing. Hopefully you are too. Today we're gonna continue on building these new worlds that we just <laughs> we just started expanding from our awesome little Serenity Field Farms, which is literally right behind us, to uh, possible four different kingdoms that are in front of us, and that is just insane. That is insane. You guys inspired me so much on the last episode, just letting me know what kind of things you want to see uh, coming up with these kingdoms, and you know what? Uh, we're going to try to explore as many of them as possible, and if you don't remember, let me flip. Um, I'm starting a gatehouse, <laughs> and this is just, this actually uh, uh, is going to be really, really cool. We're going to build this today. We built this bridge on the last episode. I did a little terraforming down here, and this bridge is the bridge to new lands. That was the actual title for the last episode. So we did discuss a lot of things uh, and where we're going to go with the series and what kind of builds we're going to be doing. Uh, but this is going to be the main new kingdom, passing this bridge. This area right around here. Uh, it's going to be the main town, which is called Oblivios. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Uh, but this main town, as I mentioned before, we're going to have different kingdoms surrounding it. And and I asked you guys in the comment of the day, uh, or the question of the day last episode, to let me know what kind of lore you want to see. But we already have like a rough outline of what this lore is going to be. So we're going to have this main middle kingdom. This is going to be just your regular human class. You know, We're going to take a lot of inspiration from Skyrim, a lot of inspiration from Game of Thrones, a lot of inspiration uh, from... From, uh, the Hobbit and Lord of the Ring books. So we're going to meld a bunch of different types of inspiration into one. Uh, so hopefully you guys are going to uh, like that. But we're going to make it our own too. So on this side, this is going to be our main uh, human side. Okay, but then we're going to go uh, to the left. And over there, if you see that, hold on. Optifine, go, go, go. Uh, over there, we have the little marshland swampy area. We're going to have a whole area full of witches over there. We're going to do some witch huts. Uh, it's going to be really, really cool. Uh, and a whole, like, dark element to that side. It's going to be evil witches over there. Uh, on this side, it's going to be more of our fantasy uh, side with, like, elves, dark elves, woodland elves, like a whole elvish type kingdom over here on this side. And you can't see, but right this is, you know, I put it so we can get better frames. Uh, but way out in the distance, there is a snowy biome as well. And that one, we can maybe uh, start some kind of dwarven uh, underground kingdom or something like that. So we have so many cool little spots and so many places close by. And we're going to get into that. That's going to be super, super cool and a lot of fun. And you know what? I'm planning on bouncing. That's right, just bounce it like this. No, bounce it from place to place. So we're not in just one kingdom all the time. Uh, right now, really quick, this is going to be the question of the day for this episode. And I got two comments of the days for this one. And I'll show you who got those on the next one. Uh, but for the next build, okay, this is what I want to ask you guys. Where do you want to go? Where do you want me to go next? Do you want me to stay in our uh, human medieval uh, kingdom that we're in right behind us after this gatehouse is up? Or do you want me to go explore uh, a little template of how we're going to do the witch's side? Or do you want me to go over to the elf side and see what kind of elvish-like builds uh, we could do on that side? Let me know in the comment below. We're going to, if anything, you know what? Right here, I'm going to put a little poll in the iCard section. So right now, one, two, three. There you go, magical pole on the side. Hopefully I remember. Uh, I'm going to put it on the top uh, right of the video. Uh, I'm going to put a little poll. If anything, also comment it below. And let me know what, you, what kind of builds you want to see uh, within those areas too. But for the poll, I'm just going to say uh, which side, human side, elf side. And you let me know the one that gets the most votes. That's the first thing we're going to do on the next episode. Okay, there you go. Awesome. Okay, let's flip. Now, for this thing. Man, I love a good gatehouse. So I think I'm going to go ahead. I modified it a little bit from the last time you saw it. I lifted up uh, the uh, dimensions a little bit, the walls up, just to see exactly how uh, and uh, what kind of style we're doing. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with this messy style on the bottom. On the top, when we get past this line, I think I'm just going to go with primarily uh, cobble in the middle and the bricks uh, on the side. Uh, and I think we're going to go with just your traditional type of gatehouse. It's not going to be too humongous because, again, this is just going to be just a a basic, uh, just inner, uh, this, this is the main wall, right? But this is not like the main, eventually we're going to get into some castle-like locations. And that's going to be the most defended part. That way we're going to have really big, uh, dangerous gatehouses and stuff like that. Stuff that's really tall, a lot of murder holes, a lot of little sections that uh, it's hard to scale. Uh, for this one, it's just your normal town gate. Uh, and then we're going to have a couple of these around. Uh, maybe one on this side, maybe one on that side. Uh, and we're going to terraform this whole area. We're also going to connect the wall to this 
that's going to go uh, kind of very organic. I'm going to go with like an organic style wall and maybe like, um, I don't know, maybe like a five, like a five wide total, uh, maybe three, maybe like a three wide walkway, but but with extra one bit on each side, so five total, and then we could just make this curve around, going all the way around, uh, and this that's gonna be like an ongoing project, cause that's gonna take a long time to make a wall to cover the um, this taiga section. So we're probably gonna go around this way, around the waterway, um, and then you know what, we might even have little bridges to go into the elfish side, and then we might have one going into the witch his side even though it's dangerous over there but we can have that side more defended um because i'm thinking about the 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 elvish side it's not going to be uh too crazy you know they're they're a peaceful race you know but they are the ones that are going to go against the witches on that side and we're just the the intermediary people in between trying to keep the peace kind of thing so uh so i'm thinking this side is going to be a little more accessible that side is going to be the more defended side um but we're going to wall off most of this and eventually we're going to get to a little castle keep kind of thing uh deeper inside and there was where we're going to have like a bigger wall, bigger gates and stuff. But I think this is looking good. This is a good little template. It's not going to be too crazy big. Uh, I think what I'm, um, the way I'm going to do this, we're going to go up, I think, right here at this level. I might do some kind of a little covered walkway to go from one side to the other. Uh, I'm not sure what to do as far as the roofing. I'm thinking maybe do a, like two peaks, a peak here, a peak here, and then a center peak that's a little taller going up the middle. Maybe something like that with a nice little, uh, I'm thinking like almost like an arched kind of uh, middle section right here. Uh, but really quick, let me do some stuff. Let me get rid of this uh, sun, make it daytime. Let me gather all the materials together. And you know what I'm gonna do too? Let me just lift this wall up with cobble just to match it to this end. So all this has cobbled up uh, and we'll get that started. We'll get some building on the way. I got a bunch of junk back here ready to go. <laughs> all right, give me a second. Let's do some stuff. All right, everything is up, looking very cool. Add a little bit of splashes of just regular stone in there just to break up the cobble, but I'm gonna keep it mostly cobble and just a little bit of speckles of stone. <laughs> I open this up, I think I'm gonna make that into like a big entrance right there for both sides on this end. Uh, but right here, this is kind of the similar uh, thing that I have going. Um, and then I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Uh, so it's just Tudor-like blocks, but we're using the uh, spruce and the stripped oak right here on the side. And I love that color combo. So looking very cool. And I like this up and down little pattern right here. That that's looking awesome. So I want to pretty much replicate that when we get to the top part of these towers. But come up, come with me. Let me show you some stuff. <laughs> so let's recreate that here on this side, and then we'll go from there. See if we can do a little roof on this covered uh, walkway section. So I'm gonna grab. This is gonna go down by two. This is a one. This is uh, down by two. Ooh, I think I got it. Yes, this is a one, and this is a down by two right there. And then we're bringing these guys up. So this is gonna go up, up, up here. And then down here, we're gonna go with the stripped right here. Oh, I missed, that's fine. <laughs> get, get out of here, choppy choppy, get that out of here. Uh, so right here, we're gonna sort of take it up, matching that spot. And then here, I'm gonna give it a uh, two spacer, but you know what, let's just, uh, I'll chop these out. I'll chop it out after, it's easier to do it like this. <laughs> so let's go, go to go all the way up to here. And then once we get to this part, we can definitely work on a little roof pattern, see how we can take this. So, uh, uh, come on, there we go. And I think I might take it up one more uh like this this is going to be covered up anyways here uh and i'll take it up over there in a second and then here we could just go with uh, i think just stairs going straight down like so uh let's make it very plain and we'll beat it up after uh so for this one i might go with a full block here just to make it a little bit uh taller right here let's take this all the way up i think here we can go with some upside down stair actions and we might tweak, tweak that a little bit after uh we can go with another row of these guys and then let's just keep going till we get to the center uh and then there's where we can play around with some stuff uh so right here we can go with another set of upside downs and then once we get to here this is center right there i think that's center right there uh so we could go with one more just like this make it a little more a uh, fantasy style and i think right here that's dead center uh so for this one we can go a little upside down stair like right there it's not an upside down stair and that is fine i could do it right now watch oh so easy uh and then here uh we can go with a little pop out actually we don't need the pop out because there's going to be a thing right next to it Ooh, you don't know what we don't need this hold on take this out uh, we really don't need this thing. We can just go and cap it off with just a, a double full block right here. Uh, take this one down like so. Uh, and hold on, let's put a little another full block right there. We don't need that side. And then right here on the top, I think we could just go... Let me just put full block for now. For now, we'll tweak it. Let's get out of here. Let's go down. Let's check it out. Come on, Feather Fallen. Very nice. 
something. Oh, that's a nice tall roof. I like that. And then we can even go right in the middle, maybe do like a nice little window right there. So that's looking cool. Let me pop out those windows too. And you know what else I'm going to do? Let me raise this bad boy right here, this walls. Let's raise it up to probably right up to here. I'm going to go two blocks over that main block just so I have a little bit of space to work on something around the edges. But uh, give me a second. Let, let's just lift all these up on both sides and then we'll just join that middle part together. Give me a moment. This is going to be so cool. All right, look at this. This is looking really, really cool. We, man, I, I think I overdid it. I think I went a little bit too tall. I don't know. We'll see. If anything, we'll, we'll add some details to this. But man, it's fine. But you know what I also did here? Uh, this is just for now temporary. I want to come in here and break it up even more. Uh, but I saw that we were going a little bit too high and it looked a little bit too thick uh, and I wanted to add a little bit more support to the bottom so I added these like random little just uh, almost like a, a bunch of rocks were just plastered up against the bottom and I want to add even more to that but little things like this see down here it's looking pretty cool I don't know come this way um, even here on the side we added uh, just extra support bits so it doesn't look uh, too flimsy on the bottom so I did stuff like that and that looks pretty cool but I want to come in there and, and really add more detail to it uh, even more yes even more than what we have yeah, it's fine. Uh, so I want to add some like broken stairs, upside down, a little slab action, a little more pop outs, uh, make it a little bit more roughed up, some bush, some mossy, stuff like that. But look at this. It's looking real cool. This looks very imposing too. It looks very, very dangerous, uh, but it looks awesome at the same time. Uh, for the uh, portcullis, I have it like this. Uh, so we got some walls right here and right here. And then we have this little portcullis gate kind of like going back down. And then come with me. Let's go upstairs. Let me show you what we got here. Um, I put a flooring here, but uh, it's going to change. I think I'm going to make it a little more detail. Uh, but here, we have like a little uh, bit of a lift right here. Uh, no idea how it works, but it works. Trust me. I think I don't know. Uh, maybe we can hang something also here, like almost like some kind of uh, like pulley system going up up to this uh, little uh, lovely roof in this middle part. I love this, man. This is gonna be a nice view here, but it's gonna be an even nicer view on this side. That's gonna be so cool. Just some chest for now, but it, it'll it'll get there. Uh, but you know what? Let, let's also go up to the tippity top here. Uh, let's see what we can do. Uh, on this top part so what I'm thinking originally I was thinking about maybe doing a tower here and a tower here um, I don't know I'm kind of debating whether or not to do uh, like a connection that goes all the way from this to this and have it almost like one big structure uh, almost like a Tudor style structure on the top uh, and keep it like long like this and then peak roof on the tippity top I don't know I'm not sure where to take it um, I think I might just go with one long structure on top here um, and just make it a little different make it a little a little bit more unique because sometimes and I think on my single player world that I did last time I had something not exactly like this uh, but we did have a gate that had um, wooden tower peaks here and here so um, I wanted to maybe change it up a little bit maybe connect these two together uh, so yeah, let, let's let's work on that. So if I'm gonna connect these two together, I want to make it kind of like what we did on the bottom here and connect it with wood pieces, uh, wood extensions. So let's do something like this. Hmm. Let's see. I don't want to do this. Uh, so I want to maybe go uh, every other one like this all the way around uh, and I want to work it as if we're actually making uh, almost like um, even like one big Tudor style house, uh, medieval house, and pop the wood from here. Like pretend this is like the the stone base, and then this is gonna be um, the wood base on the top. So something like that. Uh, so I do want to connect also this piece. I don't think I have any more. Let's just use cobble for now. Uh, so I want to connect. Let's see what it would look like if we connected to, like this. And if we go all the way down, like so. Uh, let's see what that would look like. So I'm gonna just wrap this all the way around Let's just do the front part for now get like a almost like a facade of it uh, and see what it would look like hmm But actually who let's see let me think about this because then if I would do this Then we would do something like let's see something like that but on the tippity top, we would have the beams, right? The beams would go like this. Okay, I'm just trying to picture it. This is a different way of me doing it. So maybe like a cross beam going straight down like this uh, might be the way to do it. I've got to figure out what to do in the center part there too. Uh, but coming out all the way like this, right? 
Uh, and then this kind of pops out here, like a little pop-out log right there, right? And then we're going to come back this direction, and then we can do every other one. And then in the ones in between, we can go ahead and add the um, the slabs. And I think that will actually make it look really nice. Uh, so we'll do a pop-out log this way. The other one would come this direction. So let me do like a placeholder block kind of thing. Uh, right there. Oh, hold on. I'm going to fall. I'm going to totally fall. Oh, please don't fall. I would die for sure. Uh, so something like this. And then we come back the other way. Hold on, this is just a facade. We'll do. Oh, that thing's gone forever. Uh, we're fine for here. I'll do. Bye, log. Bye. Uh, that's very nice. Uh, now <laughs> we would do something like this, and then over here, I would just come up with this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think like a five or even a six with a cross beam like this. So we would do that, and then we can use more of the stripped oak coming down like so, and then this guy going up like this uh let's see i don't have enough logs do i have enough logs for this i don't think i have enough for this i gotta go back down and get some more uh but let's see so this will go up like this this will keep going like so and i ran definitely ran out of blocks okay <laughs> let me come back uh give me a few moments let me just let you know what i'm doing let me just do this pattern all the way on top maybe a nice little middle entrance here almost maybe like a balcony area like an, uh, just to come out it might be a really good view to do a nice little archway right in the center uh but two to blocks on both sides and we'll work on a roof together and see what we could come up with this is gonna be pretty cool i don't know it's gonna be unique and <laughs> let's see what this gatehouse comes out to all right you know what it is officially the next day i've been hard at work I i've been building okay i'm gonna let you know right now i've been building but Something really cool happened uh, uh, that I usually don't even talk about it because sometimes, you know, I, you know how I like to freestyle my builds. I don't pre-plan none of these things. Usually I just go in with a, with a little bit of a plan, with some inspiration, and just start placing blocks till it looks cool. But sometimes you start placing blocks, you think something's going to look cool, you start building it out, and you're like, you know what? Um... Nah, it doesn't really look that good. Uh, the last stuff we were building in the last cut, I, I, I scrapped it. I did the, the front facade and I was like, man, it looks okay, but it's just too big. It's just too 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 bulky, too tall. Um, so that's something really cool that you guys, you know what, just because you start building something real big, so it's because you want, you, you want to make it look very cool, you have an idea and you start building it, just don't go with it just because it's built already especially with survival sometimes you're like man i just built like 500 blocks worth of something and I, I, man i don't really like how it looks uh but i'm gonna keep it anyways because i did a lot of work to get to it you know this is some something that ah oh, man i just i couldn't live with myself it was okay i would have showed you guys but man, I, I, man it was like ugh. um i just i just scrapped it i was like no no we're gonna rebuild this we're gonna scale it down a little bit and, and go with something that looks a little a little cooler uh and this is what i did and then we're gonna do some building right now on cami cam uh and i'm ready let me show you what what this has turned out to be there it is that is looking cool uh we're gonna mirror the left one to the right one i kind of like that one is different from the other but i kind of want to mirror it i don't know i just feel like mirroring it will look even cooler uh so i did a couple things let me flip um so i shaved this down a little bit because this middle roof here was way too tall so i shaved it down so right now it's just a stair a stair and slabs all the way up so it gives it a, a better look a better angle uh also what i did was i, I just chopped up that uh the top by i don't think like 10 almost this thing was really up to here it was way too tall and then on top of that we had this big old structure on top it was just too top heavy it looked good the concept i'm definitely going to use it later on but on a smaller scale not so big so uh, another thing we did was to add a little bit more texture just a little bit <laughs> and if you notice uh the edges have these cool little andesite bits every other one just to give it a cool little pop to it i don't know what do you think? <laughs> so I kind of like it. I kind of like the way it breaks it up a little bit more. It makes it look a little different. So it's not just one straight um, line going straight up like that uh, with the uh, stone. So I kind of like that. I popped in a little bit of the uh, th this beautiful thing thing right here, a little bit of the white diorite around here on the sides, uh, just because we did have it here on the um, on the bridge on the side, just to keep that going. And I like that. I like the way that looks. It looks awesome. Added a couple windows here and here. And I'm going to add these windows now with you guys. That we're going to pop up that little extension on the tippity top uh, in a second. But what do you guys think? I think it's a great uh, improvement. Because the other one, it had, the concept was good, but I don't know. It just looked like it was it was just too much. And if you come down here and check this out. Oh, it's looking so good coming down this direction. And then over here, we're, we're going to do some windows. We're, I'm going to show you how I did the windows. I'm going to show you how I did the tippity top. And adding these little details on the top here with these little, little spikes just gives it a little bit more to it. And then I also beat it up a little more. And it's, it's going down. 
but by adding these little walls here, little walls here, uh, some stairs in there, a little arrow slits here, just randomly scattered so it's not in the same position. So we have one in the corner, one here. Uh, we even have some on the side. Oh, it's almost getting dark. Let me make it daytime. Hey, what's up? It's that Robin. It laid an egg, boy. Uh, <laughs> and then we added here another arrow slit window there. So I don't know. It look, looks really cool at nighttime. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've been hard at work. Please don't do it. Where, where is that? No, you're right behind me. You're right behind me. He's right behind me. You stupid, you only one of you? Hold on, let me, let's do some nighttime battling. How about that? How about that? I ain't scared, come on down here. You too hot for me, come on down here. <laughs> on Jeremy's pack, it looks so cool. Let's take one of the best designs for the little super phantoms. Come on down, man. You know you're gonna get it. This is gonna be a, a two shot. You're gonna get it, you're gonna get two shotted. Come on down, I'm not even afraid. I'm not even afraid, I'm not even afraid. I'm not even afraid, get it. Oh, you get wrecked, give me your brains. Give me your membranes. No, no membrane, no, okay. Enough nighttime battles. <laughs> Give me a second. Let's make it daytime. Uh, let's get on to the tippity top. Oh, hold on. Oh, get him, doggy. Get him. Oh, my sweet doggy friend. That is not even Bubbles. Who is that? Oh, come on. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We're doing some battling tonight? You know you're going to get two-shotted. Get two-shotted. Where's my shield? Get two-shotted. This doggy. G go get him. I'll help you out, my friend. This is my f a new dog friend. Oh, no, two of them. Oh no, we got two dog friends, let's go, let's attack, attack, get that stupid skeleton, he doesn't deserve to live, man, you slap him around, go, 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 oh, this is an awesome, this is a little fight party right here, get him, oh, wrecked, <laughs> these little doggies, oh man, I need to go get some bones for them, hold on, let's see if we can get some new doggy friends, for Bubba's gonna have a bigger family, <laughs> hold on, give me a second, guys, all right, where did these two boys go, come on, I know you're around here, there they are, oh, come on, hey, chicken, you're not gonna, you're not gonna come on me, oh, here he is, what's up, oh, Okay, oh, let's see how many bones this takes. One, two only, that's awesome. Yes, we have a friend. Guess what? I, in real life, I do have another puppy. Bubbles has a brother. His name is Baby BJ. That's my boy. I love him. We haven't added him to the series yet, but you know what? It's about time we do. Bubbles needs her brother. Her brother. Look, come on. Bam, baby. Yes, haha. <laughs> baby, that's the best. We have him. Finally. Now, where did the other doggy go? Baby, where did the other puppy go? I got another name tag. Where'd he go? Come on. Oh, here he is. Oh, here he is. Oh, and this is going to be sad because we, uh, man, we had three dogs. Or, um, uh, and Baby and Bubbles had a little baby one time. Well, they had actually six babies at one point. Um, no, they actually had, a, well, they had a litter of six, then they had a litter of two, and then they had a, a, another litter of two, I believe. Uh, I gave up all the babies, all the babies to family and friends. We kept one. His name was Cappy, a.k.a. Captain America, a.k.a. Steve Rogers, a.k.a. the coolest dog in the world. Um, and, but he, um... Very sad story though. I didn't. I don't want to bring you guys down here. He he got a little sick recently. Uh, maybe about six, maybe four, four, four months ago. Maybe not really. I don't even think that long. Maybe like three months ago. And our, our boy is no longer with us. So uh, very sad story. I don't want to get into it. But uh, is it gonna start crying? No. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring him back and he's gonna be here in our Minecraft world forever. His name is Cappy. I love this boy. Here we go. Bam! If you guys ever want to see pictures of him, I have him all over Twitter, all over our Discord server. So if you ever want to see Cappy, uh, that boy right there. Oh, so he's the best. I, I forgot to name him. I mean, I um, make him my friend. There we go. Uh, so we're definitely gonna keep him around forever. Uh, and come on, baby. Let's go. What, what are you doing over here? Let's all go together. We're gonna go where Bubbles is later on. But for now, let's put him in the front and they can be our building inspectors. Uh, uh, but yeah, oh, oh, the teleport. I gotta change the colors too. Hold on, maybe I could give baby. Let's give baby some different color. Uh, we only got yellow for now. Uh, <laughs> let's do yellow and let's do uh, it's just the white for cap. Let's go. Come here. Who are you? You are cap. You get to be white. There you go. Very nice. Where's baby? Oh, here you are. You can stay, stay right there. Just stay right there. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Yellow. You can stay right there. Cap, you come over here. You get over here more to the corner. Come over here more to the corner. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there he goes. And stop. Oh, perfect spot. <laughs> That's so awesome. So we got the full fam uh, here in the world. That's so cool. All right, now, let's get to building. How about that? Let's go to the tippity top of this place and let's do some stuff. So uh, another thing that I wanted to do too was this. You see how in the front here, uh, we have these extra little bits of detail just popping out to give more structure. Uh, in these parts, we can actually knock this back in and make it more ruin-like. So I pop these back uh, and then we can get to do it to that side too. But that's a really cool idea. Also a ceiling, we added some more detail, some beams. Um, this is actually a full block and a slab to give it a bit, bit more thickness. Uh, but over here, I'll show you how we did this one. Uh, super easy, let's grab uh, stairs and let's grab, uh, give me, 
uh, be uh, this and we can get rid of the food okay so right here I did a full block we have a stair Ooh, where's my other stair Where's my other stairs? There it is, perfect. Uh, okay, so we have a stair here. It could be anything. It could be uh, either one of the stone or the uh, cobblestone. And then here we have a little stair going uh, like this, a stair going like this, And then, but these are more um, uh, all stone. These are all stone because we wanna make it a little more uh, defensible, something a little bit more stronger than just cobble. Uh, but here we can do cobble. We can do two cobbles and then we can do this again. So then this was like this, like this, in the middle, right there, boom, 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 easy. Uh, uh, and then some upside down stairs on both sides like this and uh we need trapdoors do we have more trapdoor we have okay perfect <laughs> i've knocked down so many spruces for this one uh man yeah you know i love my trapdoor but they're expensive uh so we have all these going around like this and then for this little part here this is easy we're just going up like this so we're going up 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 like so this one's up 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 all the way up like a this boom 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 oh we didn't need these hold on get out get out there we go and, oh we don't need that either <laughs> that oh hello C come yeah there we go <laughs> and then this one is super easy too we're just gonna go down and go oh uh, place all the block bum 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 there we go and we're going up like a so oh hello I got, I got this there we go bum, bum, bum. and then get rid of uh, you and you and that's cool i like that design now up here uh let's go up to the tippity top i also did some detail work on the bottom end but i'll, I'll show you super easy uh but let's see if i can get up to the tippy top do some parkour action get rid of uh, this and put this here in case we gotta knock some stuff down uh and there we go okay perfect now this part's super easy once we get to this part here we have some stair action so there goes every other one right here with stairs if i fall i am a dead person I don't know if I'll survive this. If I hit the water, I'm good. If I hit that thing, I think I might, eh, no, actually, you know what? I'll probably get really low, but I'm not gonna die. Uh, so for this one, let's mix and match. So this is gonna go up right here in the corner. This goes up by two. Let's take it up by two on all of these here. This is another two. This is another two. And then we'll start going up. And then let me get some cobble in here too. Get rid of that. Uh, and then the middle, we just sprinkle in some cobble in like so like so and then here we're gonna start doing the every other one like this and then we're gonna put that guy and then this guy. oh hello not you not you we should put them together that would make them a little bit easier uh okay then let me go again up right here and then once we're here we're gonna go one more and then this goes one more that's the last one right there uh so then let's go again uh filling in this with cobble filling that with cobble ba -ba -bam, ba -ba -bam -bam. and then here we're gonna go again up up I should just use my mouse wheel. There we go. And then that's two, perfect. So let's do it again. Boom, boom. Uh, hold on, I thought I had it. The mouse wheel is so, it's too powerful, it's too sensitive. Oh no, where am I going? I'm going too high up, I got too excited. Sorry, so this goes <laughs> like that. And then we're doing this one again. So this is super easy, so that, 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 that. There we go, that's awesome. And then right here, we're gonna go ahead, come back down. Uh, here we can tweak it also a little bit. It doesn't have to be all cobble, but once we get to this level, I believe, yep, right here. Let's go all the way around, right here, right here, right here, and right there. And then here we're gonna go ahead and play around. We've got some stairs right here, so we're gonna put a little, oh, I need like a placeholder block. Let's just use this for now. So we're gonna do right here, stair, stair, and then here in the middle, just any block, and then take that out. I'm never gonna see you again. Goodbye, and the site. I, um, you're my friend. Goodbye, I can't, there we go, perfect. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna do it again. So I don't think I could, I don't, actually, I think I could do it without a placeholder, hold on. No, I can't, actually, it's impossible. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna go over here with stair, stair, anything right there. Goodbye, cobble. Uh, one more time, let's go. Uh, you know what, we can even just do this. That's even probably the best way. Yeah, what am I even doing? I could have just done that the whole time. We don't lose stuff. What's wrong with me? Uh, so we got stair, <laughs> then we're gonna stair right here. And then once we get to this part, then this is super cool because then we're just gonna go up by two. Oh, everything's, uh, everything's getting nighttime. Let's see if we can finish this real quick. So this is going right here. Then we're gonna go with, how was it again? A stair, okay, so cobble, stair here, here. Yeah, oh god, no, 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 stair, oh, ladder, I mean, oh, god, no, 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 oh, uh, sorry, everything's fine, light, light, don't go to the light, sauces, don't go to the light, uh, we're fine, that's not even what it's supposed to be, I lost control of all my senses, uh, that is not even what it's supposed to be, this, okay, perfect, <laughs> oh, my nerve, <laughs> my nerves, uh, and then here on the tippy top, so easy, just wall, 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 not wall there, I gotta take that out, walls all the way around, 
on the tippy top of this. We're going to put fences. Oh, that you. You need to be a fence. Hold on. Uh, what did I just misclick that guy? So here we're going to put fence, fence, fence on all of these. Just like this. Oh, beautiful sunset. Uh, and on top of that, we're just going to put these right over the tippity tops. Like this. Oh, my God. If I fall, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please, I got this. This is so good. Sometimes my parkourness comes out, but then I get really nervous. I like this. I'm fine. Okay, let's just... I'll be back. We're, we're almost done. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> oh, baby, and we're done. This view right now, right in front of me. I'm about to flip, but it, it looks really, really good. I'm very, very happy how this turned out. And also, we got the family reunion waiting for us right at the gate. Let's just go. Let's just go. Look at this. Oh, baby. Let's take a small, very, very nice uh, little stroll down the bridge. I love it. <laughs> that looks so cool. And look what we have waiting for us right at the front. We got the three, the three greatest dogs in the history of dog triplet combinations. This is the best. <laughs> we got Bubbles, Baby, and Cappy all together again. Right here, Cat, Bubbles, Baby. This is the greatest trio right here. Look at these. We're going to start a very, very nice little uh, mini-series. Just Adventures of the Triplets. You know, we're just going to go all three down. We're just going to have adventures. It's going to be fantastic. Watch. <laughs> so cool. Who's down for a, a, a triple threat adventure right now? Well, all three of us. Well, four, technically, with me. Right? Bubbles? That's right. <laughs> We're all going on an adventure very, very soon. But man, this is looking so nice. I'm in love. What do you guys think? It rated uh, one out of ten sausages. Ten sausages being the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life. One sausage me being that the sausage blow it up to start again. Um, you better not vote no one. <laughs> but we're out of here for now. Uh, but before we go, you know what? Let's get the comment and question of the day uh, from the last episode out, and let's see what we got in here. So let's put some stuff away. We got some junk in here. Let's go. So. This is one of them. This is uh, basically we went over some lore. You know, we wanted to know what kind of lore we wanted to add to this area. And one of the great comments, I like this one. Here we go. Bam! We got little ducky. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this down here as a very good idea. So I took some uh, some bits and bobs from it. So little ducky says uh, the lore for the witches area. So this is specifically just for the witches side. The area should be called Twig Roots Creek. I love that name with all my heart. It just it, it, it's just screaming witches area. So Twig Roots Creek, we're calling it. That's it. There's nothing else to it. That's lovely. I love that name. Uh, and then there's some lore right there. We're just going to put, put it there. Look, read it on your own. There you go. Read some lore. There you go. That's some good stuff, though. I do like the idea uh, of the uh, of the Twig Roots Creek. Uh, so that's some good lore right there. So bam, there you go. Here's some more. This is some more lovely lore here. Bam! This is coming from, I'm a really cool person. I know you are. You're not only cool, you're fantastic. Uh, the Triplet King. So I, I got that idea, uh, which is really, really cool. And speaking of triplet kings we got three doggies now so what I'm thinking right now is we're gonna assign a doggy to a kingdom and one of my doggies is gonna rule every kingdom so you know what <laughs> that is just awesome I'm gonna put that in there uh, so it's just it's just playing around with that but the good idea uh, that came from uh, well a really cool person is the triple king thing have each uh, area have their own little king their own little race and then they all have separate gods and each god is connected to the tree of that area so right here in the main area is the pine the spruce whatever uh, the dark oak is for the elves and the marsh wood uh, is for um, the, the witches so that's an awesome idea I took a bit to bobs from everybody but man I'm so excited right now to get started. So let me know in the comment section again, like we mentioned earlier, where do you want me to go next? Do you want me to keep building right here? Do you want me to go to the witch's side or do you want me to go to the elf side? What do, what do you want me to do? Let me know uh, down below. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode. Goodbye. Look at my, my, my tri the triplet king, king and, and one queen. <laughs> See you guys later.